Daniel, what a what a game, what a performance from the girls and now you're into an All Ireland final. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um huge performance again from ourselves, backed up what we did against Dublin and delighted to be in the final. Like, you know, coming into that Dublin game you were the ranked underdogs. Maybe today again with a team like Cork might be seen as the underdogs having fa having played them twice already this year and come out on the wrong side of results, including the group stage of course. But they definitely wrote the critics wrong. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've we've been um, we've we've been dealing with that, I suppose, all season. You know, we we had a tough league campaign, and uh, the key thing for us is that we we kept it together and and we kept believing that we could do something, and that was that was important for ourselves. And you know, uh, when it came to those big games against Dublin and against Cork, you know, the the, the control they showed in the ball and, and how they played in the field was excellent. And it's probably look as you said, it might have been a, bit a disappointing start to the year based on the league, but you know, you won Connacht built from that and I know the Cork game down in MTU didn't go the way you wanted but you built from that and as you say you know you can now look forward to playing either Kerry or Armagh in the final Yeah absolutely it's, ni it's nice to be able to I suppose um, sit back now knowing that you're in All-Ireland final and, and going out and watch this other semi-final that just started here um, so it's, it's, it's going to be an interesting game and um, you know the work isn't done for us we, we need to get going again for another couple of weeks Look, you did fantastic work in the first half and built a nice lead going in at the break. You knew Cork were going to come out swinging in the second half. What was said at the, the interval? Uh, the key thing for us this was a little bit of disappointment in how we played in that first half. I felt we didn't score enough, uh, had a lot of chances and didn't convert them. Uh, we knew Cork were going to come at us, come hard at us, uh, and we just emphasised the fact that we need to control the ball as much as possible and try and, try and reduce the amount of time they have on the ball. And we did that, I think, for the, the first stage of that second half. And then in the latter stage, Cork definitely came at us and asked a lot of questions and got some good scores. I know you're through now to the final, and you can look back at the performance and say, look, we got through, but they'll probably go back now and do the, the tactical analysis of this game and take a look at your potential opponents now in, in the final as well. And, Put the heads down now for the coming weeks. Yeah, exactly. Look, it's a quick turnaround too. You know, two weeks isn't a long time to, to get yourself ready and start. You know, uh, earmark them where you need to, to to go up against either Armagh or Curry. But look, at, um, it, it, it's a good problem for us to have that we can we can do this work over the next two weeks.